Hey everyone, it's Cal here from ReWord, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of ReWord's commands feature. Now, most applications of AI for article writing are a bit like a sledgehammer. They kind of do everything for you and take away the human component. But as you know, ReWord's more focused on emphasizing the human and helping them collaborate effectively with their own AI. Now, commands is designed to assist with that by enabling you to give clear direction to your AI so that you can achieve exactly the output that you're looking for. So let me show you a few ways you can use commands to write better articles for your readers. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it off here in this article. And as you can see, it's a blank slate. So let's get started by clicking on the commands feature. And that's this magic wand here. There's three different ways you can actually invoke the commands feature. So firstly, you can click this up in the toolbar here. Secondly, you can do it from the quick bar, which will display when you're typing on a new line. Or my favorite way, you can use slash commands. So if I swipe, if I type slash and then I click uh, on the command here, it will open up the commands feature. So it's accessible at all times, really easy to use. Now let's get started with an introduction. And I know exactly what I want. I want something that's in my usual style, which Rewords AI knows about, of course, because it's trained on my other articles. And I want it to include a list of what we're going to cover in the article. And I'll use that to kind of brainstorm some ideas as well. So let's go ahead and say, write an intro section in my usual style that includes a short list of what the article is about. And I'll click enter there and you'll see that AI will start writing. Now let's see how it handles this with the list. There we go. It's chucked in the formatted list for us. And it's even chucked in a relevant quote there. Now, this is an article about sleep and it's pulled in a quote from Thomas Decker, a famous quote saying, sleep is the golden chain that ties health and our bodies together. Beautiful. So it's a great job there of actually writing this section for us. Now let's use the subheadings feature just to quickly get an idea for maybe what sections we want to include in this article. Okay, so let's go on, we'll go the benefits of a good night's sleep. Let's start this article by kind of getting people going and... Uh, helping them understand why a good night's sleep is so important. Okay, how can we use commands here? Well, we want to have a really decent section that makes clear the benefits. And again, I think a kind of list format is the best style. Um, so let's go ahead and prompt it. Um, and let's say this section, um, use subheadings to create a list of benefits so instead of an actual list a formatted list we'll, we'll have it use actual uh, titles instead so we're kind of having the listicle format here uh, and we're using that to create a better format for our readers this kind of format is actually great for engagement people find it very easy to consume uh, and so that's why it kind of makes sense for this section now, it's been very short in what it's actually writing about here. So let's go ahead and select this. Now, commands can actually edit content as well. So because I've selected this content here and now clicking command, I can say, uh, extend this with a few paragraphs. And lo and behold, it's gonna start writing for us. It understands its context and what it's writing about. And it's gonna go ahead and clarify uh, on this specific section with some more content. Now I'm just going to cut it here uh, and stop it because we don't want too much. And so we'll leave it there. Now what I'm going to do as well is show you how we can use it to create more engaging content like tables. So let's create a new section. Uh, let's create a heading two and let's say comparing tactics to get a better night sleep. Now this is probably not the best article for a, a kind of table format, but I really want to show you how commands can handle uh, putting things like tables together. And I'm going to type command again using slash commands, and I'm going to write a command that says uh, create a table of ideas to improve the quality of sleep. And let's see what it comes up with. It's going to write a little introduction for me here. Of course, the AI is trained to create a kind of content with a focus on readability so naturally it will kind of create these intros and outros uh, that just make the content flow better um, now we know that the ai is still working away here because we have the spinner in the top right 
Um, so at this point, when it's kind of stopped, that's because it's putting together this engaging content for us that's in maybe a different format. So this is a really incredible example of how commands can help us put together much more engaging articles for our readers uh, without compromising on the quality. You see, the human component through Reword is so intertwined with the AI that it really enables us to get the benefits out of AI without compromising our own writing ability. So this section now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just write a little outro. We'll use a rich just to uh, be lazy here and let it continue writing this. It's going to create a few more points for us. And uh, let's just stop it here. And now let's say we want a conclusion. I'm going to be super boring here and just write the title as conclusion. Um, but let's use commands. Say... Uh, write the conclusion section and uh, include three quotes. We do like quotes. That Thomas Depp one inspired me a little bit. So let's uh, see how it handles this. And now it's finished off. You know, I can do something as well. I can, let's say this section here. Um, I can say, shorten this in my usual style, but with a more playful angle. And we can give it very clear direction about the kind of tone and style we want while referencing our own individual style that AI is trained on. And you can see here it's done that. It's using a more playful wording here like good night's kip uh, and an exclamation mark on the end. Uh, very playful indeed. It certainly accomplished that. So this is a great example just there about how you can use commands to actually have a dialogue with your AI and achieve more direction. It's a great way to actually collaborate with your AI to achieve specific tasks. And it's my favorite way to put together articles. This is really the advantage of Reword, that you can get the best out of AI without compromising your own ability. It's all about working together to play to our strengths.